Good Friday evening, everybody. Come on in. It's Friday, and guess what? It's fish day also. And along with the fish, I'm going to do some garlic crispy smashed potatoes. Okay, I've already gotten started. I boil these little golden potatoes. They're just about done. And what I'm, what you do, uh, is you just lay them out on the pan like so. Cause they, they're kind of soft. And you just put them out on your pan. I'm sure this is something most of y'all may have already tried. Tanya mentioned it to me the other day. And I said, oh, that sounds okay. And then I was riding along one day. I was listening to one of my favorite radio personalities. And she got to talking about smashed potatoes. And she gave out her recipe. And I remember, I said, you know what? Next time I fry fish, I'm going to have to do these little potatoes. So it's real simple. You just boil the potatoes. Um, and you try to get, I guess you could get them a little bit bigger. But this was the size that was in the bag. It was just one of those small bags. So I thought, for Kareem and I, this would be a gracious plenty, y'all. So what you do is you actually boil them until they're soft. And then you just take them. I'm just going to take them and smash them. I'm just going to take the heel of my hand and just lay it on there like so. And smash them just like that. You just smash them. So that's a smash one. Don't I don't want? I don't wish you can smash them too much. You just smash them until they open up. So you know you have to boil them uh, long enough for them to get soft enough for you to smash with your hand. And just smash them. Just go through there and smash them. I guess I can smash them more than that if I want. Kind of flatten them out like you're trying to flatten them out, really. And they're smashed. Your potatoes. I'm gonna smash them a little bit more because when they cook and crisp up, they'll be yum, yum, yummy. Okay, and we're gonna do some uh, fried swai fish with this, and I'll figure out some kind of vegetable, if any at all. Okay, so I've smashed those potatoes. Now, they could be garlic, they could be onion, whatever flavor that you want them to be. That's the flavor that they can be. So what I'm gonna do. Let's go ahead and figure out all the seasonings that I want to put on. And remember, I'm still working on not putting a whole lot of seasoning on them at all. I'm going to start out with some butter. I'm going to do some complete seasoning. I'm going to do some of my uh, little bit of jerk, a little garlic, and a little onion powder. Sprinkle it on there real good. And I've got some parsley. I'm going to put parsley on it. I'm going to use some of my new... Uh, Season so I got some I got some chopped artichoke um, seasoning that I'm going to be putting on. So I'm just going to make up a bunch of stuff and put on top of them, and they they cook in about 18 to 20 minutes in a 400 degree oven. And then of course I'm going to fry my fish. So hold on just a minute. Let me get one other uh, seasoning that I didn't put take out yet. Okay, I've got some artichoke pesto. I cannot wait. I'm, I've been chomping at the bit to use this because this is one of those new ones that I purchased the other night at Trader Joe's. So this is, uh, uh whew, there it goes. It looks so bad. I'm going to have to taste of it, see what it tastes like. If it tastes okay, I'm going to put them right on top of these potatoes. Yeah. It's really, really mild. This is a uh, artichoke and a pasta. Okay. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to sprinkle them with some of my um, mushroom seasoning. They're going to be really, really, really good. Uh, I'm getting the butter. I'm going to go ahead. And just start putting all of my ingredients right on top of it. Okay, I'm just going to lay some butter on like so, like that. That butter is going to melt right on into the potatoes. Give that nice butter. And this is actually, it's not butter butter. This is, um smart balance this is what I use 
uh, for butter. And sometimes I use pure butter, depending on what I'm cooking. But for the most part, you know, I told you all I use um, Smart Balance. Just a little bit. Okay. We'll just do each one like so. Got one more. Okay. Okay. Now it doesn't matter what order. I, this is my mushroom seasoning. It has like a mushroom flavoring to it. Put some of that on top of each one. This is very. If they got any salt on here at all, it's very, very light salt in here. So I don't worry about putting this on. Very, very light salt. And then I've got some other Italian seasoning. I'll tell you the name of that. So, you know, it's your choice what seasonings you want to sprinkle on here. Just to give them a good flavor. Mmm. Where is my uh, Italian? I've got some Italian flavor. Okay. This is my onion powder. Just, and everything just, you know, just a sprinkle on there to get it going. Sprinkle. And, of course, I uh, oil my pan with some olive oil. Not that they were going to stick or anything. Just the olive I love the taste of olive oil as well. Okay, and I've got to get some garlic powder going on here. Let's see. There's a the garlic powder. Sprinkle them good with that garlic powder. Get that good old garlicky flavor. And by the way, I boiled it when I boiled the potatoes. I boiled them uh, in some, put some garlic powder in the water. Have a nice garlicky taste. Okay, now. I'm going to go ahead now and spoon on just a little bit of my uh, artichoke antipasta. You know what, we, we just don't, we, we, y'all know this is a test kitchen. I've never made these before, but this is just something. This is just what helps you when you're trying to cut back on certain things, because this, uh, if it has any salt in it, I'm not tasting any salt on here, so. Hopefully there is. In fact, I need to check the bottle. The jar. I got these from Trader Joe's. There is two tablespoons is what you can have at one time. I'm, this, uh, sodium is 180 grams for two tablespoons. So I'm in good shape because I'm not, not use, probably going to use a tablespoon for all of the potatoes together. So I'm good. So the sodium is very, very low in this uh in these artichokes just a little something to make it different okay and y'all see this is so simple to do so 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 simple so easy to do y'all i think i got some on every one yep that one needs a little bit more okay so i'm good with this then i'm going to sprinkle on uh some the garlic powder. okay I re I, yeah, I sprinkle the garlic powder. Now, this is my other new seasoning, this Sofrito seasoning blend. I've never tried this up until when we went to see Tony at the hospital the other day. This is Sofrito. It's an Italian um, seasoning. A little bit of salt in it. So, everything is just a little tiny bit of salt. And we're going to... Uh, I'm going to press that in. Okay, got a little bit on every last one of them. Okay, so there we go, y'all. I'm going to try to do that just a little bit to make sure. Okay. And what's going to be so good about these, they're going to be nice and crisp. And then you'll have all that flavored seasoning going down to them, okay? So, my oven's almost ready. I'm going to be putting them in just shortly here. So, now what I'm going to do is, I think I'm just going to go ahead and slide them in the oven because I'm about ready to get my 
fish going. So hold on one second, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, it's time to get this fish to frying. Friday night fish. I hadn't fried fish in a while, so I figured last few times I did it, I did the pan fry, but I think we can have a little fried fish tonight. What do y'all think? Okay. Of course, everything is lightly salted. Very lightly salted. I've been doing well with that. I tell you what, honey, it makes a difference when you cut that salt back. And I wasn't even trying. I dropped six pounds. And that's just been last week or two. So, okay, here goes the fish. This is swai fish, y'all. These are nice big fish. These are Tanya's favorite kind of fish. Okay, there's a swai fish. She loves her swai fish. I thought she was going to stay and eat a little bit with me, but she went on home. So, we're going to let that fry for about five or six minutes on each side. We'll flip them. They'll be out. And by the time those potatoes get done, all the fish will be done as well. So, y'all hang on in there, and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. Everything is just about ready. Those smashed roasted potatoes came out beautifully. They're just about done. Some pieces of fish are ready. The other last two are in the uh, frying pan. And I did some garlic toast for Kareem. I'm not going to have bridge. I'm going to behave myself tonight. Just because I'm going to eat this fried fish and potatoes. I'm going to lay off the bread. And Kareem's going to eat some leftover green beans. And I found me, guess what? A nice garden salad. I'm going to have salad with my meal. But this meal is just about ready. This is something in what? 30 minutes because it only takes about 15 minutes to boil those potatoes when you get them boiled, you know, till they're just soft to the stick and then, you know, smash them, dress them up, run them through the oven for another 20 minutes. So, well, inside of about an hour, maybe, we can have this meal ready because it only takes like uh, 15 minutes to fry the fish. So, we're going to give this meal a one hour time frame. So for a Friday night, that's not real bad, y'all. Not bad at all. And this is a good meal. Uh, it's a nutritious meal. The only thing I fried the fish tonight. But that's a rarity for me because normally I do my pan fried or baked. But I thought we'd just do a little fried fish tonight. So, hope y'all have been having a God bless Friday all day today. And that your Saturday you got something planned, something interesting that going to do perhaps. This is just about ready to come out of here. Give it another minute back on that other side. I think my first, the other side was brown enough. But I uh, hope y'all got something planned for tomorrow that's going to be exciting and interesting and meaningful and will benefit someone if nobody but yourself. If nothing else, kick back, relax, and enjoy the day. I think I might go plant shopping. I think Connie said she's going to do the same thing. I might go plant looking. Not so much shopping as I will be just looking around for some particular plants. And usually I only get ferns. And I might see something else pretty and green. That low maintenance something I don't have to de-weed or take care of a lot. Put a little water on it and keep it moving now. So I am going to go ahead and take my fish out. I'm going to drain it here first. Get a little bit of that uh, oil drain out of it. And I'm going to switch that burner turned off. Yeah. Slide this over. I'll have to keep that hot until we get ready to serve it. So, the fish and the potatoes are done now. Only thing I got left to do now is to um, let's get my other fish. Whoop, that's real hot. That's real hot. That's real hot. Yeah, it's almost like fish and chips, huh? But this is some delicious fish. You know, I've cooked swipe fish many times in different ways. It cooks up so well. It has such a good natural flavor to it. So, listen, guys. Anytime you want fish and smashed potatoes. It is wonderful. I tasted of one of those potatoes. They are wonderful. They're nice. They're creamy and, and uh, soft and real flavorful inside. And then the outside is nice and crispy. 
with that nice garnish on them. So listen, if you want some uh, fish and chips, fish and potatoes, however you want to call them, one hour you can have this particular meal on the table, nice and hot, have your Friday night fish fry and all that good stuff now. And you can add a salad to it, you can add coleslaw to it, or you can just eat this just like it is. Of course, I've told you I'm adding toast. Let me get it out of the oven. I don't want to have it. We're doing toast today. I put some garlic on that toast. Butter, garlic, Kareem is going to be a happy camper. Look, that's his toast. He likes his butter, butter melted real, real, real good. He don't like it brown. He likes it nice and soft. So, we are having swai fish fried and some smashed potatoes and some good garlicky, buttery toast and I am going to have a nice salad. So that's our Saturday night. I'm sorry, Friday night dinner. I'm getting ahead of myself. Hope you've been praying throughout the day for the different things that are going on. Didn't look at a lot of TV today at all except for a couple of those uh, reality shows. I didn't look at any news is what I'm trying to say. So listen guys, continue to pray for our sisters and brothers over in India that they'll get their uh, virus situation under control and that things will go well for them and for people in general because there are a lot of people a lot of families still going through some things that need our attention that need us to continue to pray without ceasing as i always say please pray without ceasing but all the things that are going on in this world today because i tell you what there's plenty going on y'all plenty going on now the other thing that i'm going to do with these potatoes because i know it's going to be really good I'm going to drizzle them, <clears throat> excuse me, with just a little bit of my food wine. Y'all know what this is. Just a little bit. Who want to life? We want more, we can always add more. But this is just something to get us started, okay? Okay, smashed potatoes. Drizzle with none other than ranch dressing or whatever kind of dressing you prefer it could be vinaigrette dressing or whatever but i think it'll go good with the uh, ranch dressing so guys uh i'm gonna sign out now i am hungry i'm getting ready to sit back relax and enjoy this nice meal hope that you uh continue your evening that you're having a wonderful evening that you continue to pray without ceasing no matter what you're doing no matter where you are, where you're going, just put somebody in your prayer and keep this prayer going so that we can touch and agree in the spirit that the things that concern us, as God said, that he will perfect those things that concern us, but we have to do it through prayer. So until I decide to cook again, guys, thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you for your prayers, your encouragement for your comments and compliments and until I decide to cook again now keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down pray without ceasing do something good for somebody write a note y'all know me make a phone call or a text you never know how much that will make somebody's day so until I decide to cook again y'all love you guys toodaloo